Everybody, if you can, do the Bartman. Shake your body, turn it out if you're bad man. Uh, from the back to the side, yes you can, can. Everybody in the house, do the Bartman. Sorry, I had to say that since uh, the winner of the costume poll was Bartman. Oh, by the way, what's this? Well, this just happens to be the hidden car for level 6. It's a 50s uh, cruiser, I believe is the name of the car. It's decent, doesn't turn very well. Got some decent speed. Eh, I wouldn't use it. It's not the best car for obvious reasons. Usually the hidden cars aren't that good. The majority of them are really fast. Or, well, the majority of them have at least one attribute that's really good. Well, the other attributes aren't so much good. So yeah, it was fun to drive, but let's get out of here and let's do the next mission. Hello, driver. Well, actually, That's first I'm going to do the bonus mission here. first, not the next mission. Uh, the bonus mission did not take me very long at all. This is one of the shorter bonus missions. Uh, not as short as the last one, but definitely pretty short. So let's talk to Snake. Hey, Snake. Hey, kid dude. What's up? I'm looking for a wheel man. Tempting. Tell you what, dude. I just walked out of Springfield Prison, but if you clear up a few loose ends for me, I will help you. Cool. A chance to use my Teddy Thug training. Groovy. First up, Wiggum is keeping the evidence from my trial in his car. Snatch it, and they've got nothing on me. Ha ha. Okay, milking the pigs. Help Snake tie up some loose ends, destroy Chief, Chief Wiggum's car, and collect you the evidence. So the first thing we have to do is we have to destroy Chief Wiggum's car. I know, it's kind of weird to be destroying a police car, but that's what you gotta do. So, we're gonna do it. Sweet as a cheese dating. Thankfully, the police car is pretty fast, and usually you can get to do some uh, stupid I things by running it into a wall or something, so it should be a quick work. I'm not making it a quick work right now, but... Uh, dang it. Ah, oh, dang it! Oh, thankfully it crashed into something else, so... Wait, no it didn't. Oh, come back here. What are you doing, Chief Wiggum? Let me destroy you. Okay, usually in this area, the car will easily be destroyed. Very small turns, not many places to actually avoid stuff, so it'll definitely go down easy here. Sweet as a cheese, Dana. Of course, it got by me. Uh, Thankfully, this next hit should do it if I hit it just right. Oh, almost. It's almost dead. And I just love how the police car is hitting vehicles or random people on the road, yet it doesn't have a hit and run meter. Okay, so let's get the evidence. Now we have to drive back to Snake. And there is a second part of the mission, so we're not quite done. Oh, of course! Hit and run. And it just so happens, this is the hardest place to avoid the cops, because it's such a small yeah. area, and there's so many things you can hit, which will easily raise the meter back up. So just be careful, and then when you get to this part, start speeding ahead. Oh crap, there's going to be one waiting for me as soon as I get up the hill. Don't think so. Okay, I should be able to get rid of them. Or maybe not. This one's still following me. Okay, there we go. Now let's talk to Snake. I think there's another part of the mission. I'm pretty sure there is. Okay, that's one smacked up pork bag. Oh, yes, I am a free man again. Now, let's get a little venture capital, shall we? I hear Fat Tony is totally paying big bucks for every milk truck that gets smashed up. Lord knows why, but he's the kingpin, apparently. Okay, next we gotta destroy a milk truck. So we're just destroying everything today, aren't we? This is too cool for school. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... Physics. Oh, crap, come on, let me through. I remember this being here Anyways, before. this part's a little harder because... The milk truck is harder to destroy since it's a lot bigger. Should that be a problem for me? Not really. Destruction is usually my thing in this game. Take that. 
And uh, you don't have to destroy a bunch of milk trucks, just this one. And I don't know, you have a good amount of time to destroy it, so we shouldn't have very much trouble with this. Or I shouldn't, anyways. And as you can see, its toughness is a lot more than the Farini is, so it'll definitely take more hits than other vehicles. Or, well, it'll take more hits when I'm using this vehicle, but shouldn't be a problem. I should end the mission right next to Snake. Or almost. One more hit should do it! Oh, come on. Look out! Why won't you die? Okay, there we go. I didn't actually destroy it, but that is not going to be a problem. Snake doesn't really care. Come on, let's talk to him. Okay, dude, here's the deal. You need me, you just call my service, and I will be there. Later, dude. <laughs> Later, dude. <laughs> so now we unlock Snake's little bandit. Uh, we've used that car, we've used that car already. I mean, that's the car we used in mission six of uh, level five, so we're very familiar with that car. I want to take a minute just to compare the stats of the little bandit and the Farini because they're actually pretty close. So let's see, four, four, two and a half, five. And this has uh, four and a half, four, uh, two and a half, four and a half. So I think arguably the bandit is a little better. It's definitely faster, so I'm actually going to switch to the little bandit. And since uh, it's actually Snake's car, Snake will actually be driving with us. So Bart and Snake together committing crime. Anyways, we're going to do the first mission. Apu, you've got to help me warn Krusty about this alien plot and thus save the good people of Springfield. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot speak English. I only speak Hindi. But you're speaking English now. Uh, yes, I learned these words phonetically. Well, you're just scared of being vaporized by the space monsters. Up, down, up, down, uh, go hot dog, butter my undershirt, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, so let's actually do the first mission. Ottoman, I need a ride. No can do, little dude. I gotta round up these other little dudes and get them to Krusty Lou for the studio tour. That's where I need to go. Step on it, Otto. Okay. Right after I drop these kids off at Krusty Lou. Otto, I just said that. All right. <laughs> Stop hassling me, midget Abraham Lincoln. What the hell? Okay. So, going to the Lou. Collect all the kids and get to the Krusty Lou Studios before Krusty Lord leaves. At your okay, this is actually kind of difficult. Yeah, uh, especially awesome. if you don't want to get hit and run. But you have to pick up these kids, and the kids are unfortunately placed, like, on the side of the road. So you usually will hit something when you're trying to pick them up. And then also, I don't know, it's just a very... This is not a very good car to use for this kind of mission. But I guess that's the challenge of it. So yeah, just pick up all the kids. Um, they're in a pretty straight path. Like, you don't actually have to go out of your way. Maybe for that third one. You could have actually taken that shortcut if you wanted, but I really didn't want to risk it. And of course, there's a kid up there on the ring of fire and ice, which makes no sense, but... Video game, folks. Video game. Okay, now we gotta be very careful because we're on the stupid boardwalk again. I hate this stupid boardwalk. I actually wouldn't mind it that much if it, they didn't have people in the middle of it. That's what sucks about it. Okay, I have all the kids now. I just have to get to the studio before time's up, which is not that far from here. But still, be very careful. Don't activate hit and run. I know, I remember doing this in my old project, and then, like, I got hit and run, and I got stuck, so I couldn't make it back in time, so... Otherwise, very easy cool. mission. Alright, that was so cool! Okay, now that we've got that done, uh, we can start mission two, but... You guys probably know I'm not gonna do that now. Time. It's too late in the video. I have a minute and thirty left. So, I'm gonna get all the extras you would find in, uh, this area. Once again, we have a lost camera. Very easy to take out. And also, all the goodies we have back here are also back, so... Definitely make sure you get these stuff back here. 
Uh, how much time do I have left? Okay, I have about a minute left. If they can get, like, one more wasp camera, then I have to end the video, unfortunately. I know, I know, partying is such sweet sorrow. And I was having fun, too. Okay, I think there's another wasp camera in here. It's kind of tricky to get, though. I think it's up here. It might not. I might be thinking of something else. Uh, careful. Don't fall off. Okay, no, it's right here, I believe. Okay, yeah, here it is. I think there was one also in Lisa's story. Uh-oh, is it running away? Oh, come on. Okay, no, it's fine. It almost ran away. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end the video here. This is Slim Kirby. See you guys next time on the next episode of Let's Play The Simpsons Hit and Run. Later, folks.